Okay, we got a package unit that we installed here for a lady. And it had a refrigerant leak on it that I thought I found and fixed. Well, something else might be wrong or maybe, maybe the leak was not fixed. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Might have to put some gauges on it again. All right, there's my standing pressure. So definitely still got a leak. So, lady's real nice, but she's pretty much on top of me, so I don't know how much footage I'll get. Yeah, compressor's not starting. Four flashes, so that's plain to see why it isn't starting. So we'll unplug this board for a second, plug it back in, and she'll start. Now we hit the delay, but it will start now, and we can get some more gas in it. She's running way down. I'll have to open her up. And for all you guys that are going to leave comments about how this is illegal, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, you didn't see the, the videos where I make these jugs with a brand new jug, some couple of tubes of dye, and evacuate it and put new virgin refrigerant in them. I don't take it out of one machine and recover it and put it in another, but... Those comments don't bother me. Keep on making them. Assume what you want. Okay, we're looking a lot better now. And we are at least stabilized and up and running. I've uh, said it before in other videos, the only proper way to charge a package unit to just remove it and evacuate it completely and weigh in the factory charge which is ultimately what we'll do when we get this leak found and fixed obviously it was not the Schrader that I found that was just pouring it out so it definitely had a leak there but uh, we're going to have to look a little further see if we can find it so today I'm just going to go by head pressure and outdoor temperature and I'm going to get this thing filled up to the point that it'll, it'll run a while and once we do that and get unhooked from it I'll scan it with my, with my UV light and see if we can see it. First place I'm going to look is on this indoor coil. and. Uh, but who knows where it is. It could be anywhere. But we'll find it. And we'll get it fixed. She's running pretty good now. We're going to get a little more in it than that, but doing it kind of slow just to watch it 
It is about 76 or 77 degrees by now. I'm going to take a look at that in just a second. As far as outdoor temp goes, that is. Well, I have scanned all of this really well with my light. It's rare that it's in the fin pack at all. It's usually one of these joints. Good thing is this is a copper coil, but we're gonna have to pull the lid out and start digging through the top up here. I've scanned everything in here really well. It's getting out somewhere. We'll find it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. did not look any further than what you saw we just did a little bit of an enhanced gas and go you might say but uh, I did top it off with the dye jug and I'm gonna leave a link in the description here that shows how I made that dye jug and for those that want to comment how I'm doing something illegal, maybe you could watch that video and then tell me if you still think I'm doing something illegal. But nonetheless, um, you know, me leaving my gauges charged with refrigerant could technically be letting some amount of refrigerant go from one unit to the next you know and i think if the, if the two units are on two separate pieces of property uh there is technically a legality there that you know you could you could jump up and down and say i'm doing something wrong and that's that's fine everybody's entitled to their opinions and uh, as long as they're you know, not too awful bad disparaging and certainly not full of foul language and that's fine. I'll post your comment and let it stay there approved and you can certainly tell me what I'm doing right and wrong. I'm glad to hear anybody's opinion, but I see no problem with the practices that I uh, implement on these refrigerant leak situations and I certainly see no problem with me keeping my gauges full of refrigerant at all times just to uh, stop from contaminating other systems with oxygen or humidity whatever I mean it minimizes it at least and I guess there's people that use the ball valves and then they bleed or you know purge their hoses every time which is not perfect you can't really purge the the manifold as perfectly as you would like to think you can when you do that and bottom line is you're venting refrigerant into the atmosphere when you purge a hose so you know we're going to be doing something illegal no matter what and I got a feeling the EPA and the lawmakers and whoever know a little bit more about that than you give them credit for. So, pretty sure that's uh, considered a serviceable amount or whatever you want to call it. But nonetheless, um, today is not the day that I wanted to open the lid and look everywhere else and find that refrigerant leak it's just not the day I want to do that so we'll do a follow-up video there when we do find it thanks for watching